Oh, got one. Ooh, first cast. What did we get? First cast, guys. Today we are doing live bait for the first time. We are here in uh, Fairmont chasing after a yellow bass. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of bass fishing. We got a really strong north northwest wind today. Uh, so I kind of fished the uh, lake on the north side, Bud Lake. But here I am on the other side, protected from the wind a little bit. I don't know how much protection I'm going to get, but it is a little windy today, unfortunately. I'm just going to fish this little channel in here. Right behind this channel in. Looks like a good restaurant too, I'm going to have to try it out later. Talked to a few of those shore fishermen and uh, they did catch a few, so give it a shot here. Just using an underspan jig, jig head with a minnow. Oh, got one. Oh, first cast. What did we get? First cast, guys. Oh, we got a yellow bass. That's what we came here for. Oh, yeah. Here we go. First cast. Here we go, guys. A little small, but I mean, it's a good eater. Uh, since this is the first cast, we're gonna let this one go. There we go, we got another one. Oh, what do we get this time? Oh, we got us. Got a large mouth. Got us ourselves a large mouth. <laughs> Not a big one, but it'll do. There it goes. Oh, let's let it go. Guys, this is what we're using. Just using a regular chick head with an underspin and a small crappie minnow. Hook it from the bottom and up, just like that. There he goes. Oh, what is this? Oh, yellow bass. Yeah, yellow bass. There he goes. <laughs> It's a little nicer one. 
still going nicely on the stringer. If you guys didn't ever try yellow bass, it, it, the texture is actually really nice. I actually like how they taste better than um, than white bass, actually. What I do is I keep these live longer. I usually just go right under the, the lip. Just puncture a hole down there. If you put it through the gills, uh, the fish tend to not live longer. Wow, this is a long stringer. As you can see, this is my first time using this stringer. <laughs> I don't usually keep fish, but I wanted to keep these uh, a few of these yellow bass for for a fry. Oh, they're heading already. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Did he get my minnow? Nope. Still got my minnow. I think we found the school. They're like right here. As soon as I cast it in, they're they're hitting like almost instantly. See, they're hitting. There he goes. Got another. Ooh, this is a nicer one. That's a nicer one, guys. <clears throat> These are like. It's like bluegill size, but I mean, look at look at the meat. I mean, look how much thicker they are. They have a lot more meat than than uh, bluegills. And they taste just as good as bluegills too. If you ever wanted to try these guys out, oh, got another one. Yeah, we found the school, guys. Found them. Well, so what I'm doing now is I'm actually putting the hook right through its mouth and out through the back of its head. That way, so the minnow is actually a lot closer to to the jig head. Before I was hooking it up by right, right underneath the lip and the middle was farther back. And these fish are striking a lot shorter so that seems to be giving the better, me a better hookup. What I'm doing is I'm just slowly reeling it in. Oh, another bite. Oh. <laughs> they keep biting guys. Might need a smaller hook or something. But well, that's okay though, because we want the bigger ones. We gotta weed through a lot of, there we goes. A lot of small ones too, like this guy right here. Oh, got away. Yeah, that one's a small one. It's probably maybe four, three, four inches. Oh yeah, if you guys ever wanted to come out here, I say a bobber and bobber size eight hook or size 10 hook with a minnow sure work pretty good. And as you can see, if you know this lake, I'm not even, that far from shore it's a uh, public access like right there you could park on the other side of the lake and just walk over here and here I am catching fish and I'm not even that far from the from shore where it's where you can easily access from the public and I'm getting into tons and tons of hits it's just that uh, I'm unable to get them to hook up or they're still in my minnows There he goes. Got got on them again. It's a good size one. Good little a good yellow bass. Good eating size. Still got my minnow. Which is good. This 
smaller guy. This one's real tiny. Look at that. Let's let this one go. There it goes. There it goes. Got another one. Finally. Small guy. Oh, come over here. So cute. These would be perfect for fish tanks, but too bad that's illegal to keep them like that. Very nice though. So let it go. I got my string in the water. It'd be funny if a big old musky came. There it goes. Here's another good size one. Another one for the stringer. Oh, this one, that one came right off. Oh, you got another one. Oh, there's another good size. Good keeper. Still got my minnow. Let's see if we can get three. Let's see if we can get three minnows on this. Or three fish on this same minnow. So this is number two. Oh, there he goes. Oh, that one hit hard. Finally. Oh, what is this? Another sheep's head? Yeah, another sheep's head. <laughs> oh, it broke my line. What the heck? <laughs> Here it goes, guys. Sheep's head. Like I said earlier, yeah, I didn't know they thought there were sheep's head in here, but they are, so let's let that one go. Retie. 